Oh, wow. Hey, what's up? It's Dave. Welcome in. Congratulations. Doing good. Here you go, John. Take this phone for me, please. Doing good. All right. Thank you. Appreciate All right. it. Congratulations again. Once um, first question coming up from Dona Corby. Steve, uh, congratulations on uh, on this this great victory. Frank Mir was a whole lot harder than I think anybody expected in terms of, of an opponent for you. He was he was uh, surprising in areas, um, but uh, like like Brother Nazim would say, this ain't a new walk. You know, it's nothing new. I haven't seen. You know, so uh, we got in there, made the adjustments. And, and did what we had to do. He was so much bigger than you. I think he came in 70 pounds heavier. Could you feel that weight in the clinch? Could you feel that, that and also that, that great grappling skill that he is, takes over from the mixed martial arts world when you're, when you're in close? Could you feel that the size and the, and the grappling and, and everything like that? Oh, yeah, indeed, indeed. He grip you up real tight. Um, but, but after, I think, after like the third round, it was kind of like he, he was kind of like beat, and I was able to walk him backwards. Uh, but still, no, you can feel the, the girth, his girth was on me. So I, I had to lean and work, do my best, but um, you know, still get some good shots in. But uh, man, the dude is big. <laughs> Great, thank you. Next up, Gabriel Gonzalez. <coughs> hey, Steve, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Uh, Steve, uh, my first question, and I asked Frank this, what was the experience like for you backstage? Because here from watching it, there's about an hour of music that we're listening to. Are you hearing all of that while you're waiting to walk out? What was the experience for you back there? We're watching it on the television. We kept getting told we're coming out this time, then it's 15 minutes later, then it's two hours later, and it's like an hour later. And we're like, what? You know, we're already wrapped up, started warming up. Then the girl comes back and says, at you know 45 minutes and we're like what in the world it's different you know it's different because they're you know it's a it's entertainment it's way more entertainment than just boxing alone you know so it's something that we'll take getting used to if i fight again but uh and i'll be ready for next time if i fight again with Triller. but uh it was a bit uncomfortable because <laughs> when you're ready to rumble you're ready to rumble to ask you one final one i feel like there's sometimes a bit of this rivalry the boxing guys versus the mma guys Frank coming over, I mean, I just, what do you say about the way he represented for the MMA fighters in terms of crossing over a little bit? No, I mean, he, shoot, he, he represented beautifully, you know, as a champion, you know, as a champion should, that's a challenge. <clears throat> he saw a challenge, he wanted to take it, and he did, he did that, he gave his best effort, he landed, he landed a couple good shots, shooting in the last round, he caught me with a body shot, I was like, woo, you know, um, he is hard, he's, he, he's in good condition and to be that big. Um, my hat goes off to um, Frank, man. He's a, he's a you know, standout guy. I, you know, I love his family. We got to meet his family and talk to him. We have so many similarities in our family. And, um, you know, man, I got mad respect for Frank. Next up is Jeremy York. Uh, good to meet you, Steve. Congratulations on the win. Thank you, sir. Uh, I'll kind of ask it in a, in a two part. Uh, what goes into preparing for such an unorthodox opponent like Frank, who comes from a completely different you know, side of combat sports. And also, is, is, there, uh, is there something on the horizons or somebody maybe you want to face off with next, whether it be Triller, whether it be uh, any of the other uh, forms of combat? Uh, what goes into training for a guy like Frank? Um, just keeping it, keeping it true to form that, you know, I've been doing this 20 years, you know, so um, you guys, you know, seen who I've been, been in the ring with. I've been in the ring with the best. Um, shoot, I've sparred with guys from, like, from Vladimir Klitschko to Larry Donalds. You know, um, it's, it's, it's not a new walk for me, but but there was a bit of um, surprise, you know, that could happen because he's an MMA guy. MMA guys throw different combos. They do different, but Frank tried to stick true to boxing as best he could, and uh, he did a good job. I mean, you know, but he's up there against a two-time world champion, man, um, and uh, I, I just did what I had to do. Uh, what was that second part of the question? Uh, second question was, uh, what do you what do you see on the horizon for you? Whether it's uh, whether it's another boxing match with Triller, or is there another project you want to dive into? I mean, listen, I understand my my position in boxing. You know, I'm 40. I'll be 45 in a few months, and um, I've I've done it. I've done it. You know, I've got two world titles, the USBA heavyweight title. I've been around the world. 
classic fights is floating around on television on the internet i mean i'm not going after any world titles anymore if another ufc mma guy want to come out the woodwork a bones jones uh anybody they want to they want to come out and and and, and challenge in the boxing ring i'm here i'm ready we can do it on triller we can make it happen any of them next up is boxing social James here for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. Steve, I don't know if you were aware, but that we, the viewers, we got to hear Oscar De La Hoya on commentary for the fight. It was very entertaining. Could you hear Oscar from the ring at all? No, I didn't, but I did give him a nod. You know, that's, he's a legend, man. I love Oscar, man. He doesn't even know it. <laughs> you said in the lead, lead up to this fight, you were treating the fight as if you were in the ring with Tyson Fury again. Did you feel that mindset <laughs> helped you? Uh, Yeah, because, I mean, excuse me, I got a little cough. That's, that's like the spirit of Brother Nazim, you know? If Brother Nazim was here, we would have had a, a hard, full, I mean, deep training camp like we was fighting for a world championship. That's the way we were brought up. Take no one light. Underestimate nobody. This, especially somebody who's heavier and bigger than you in this heavyweight division. It only takes one punch, and it's over, you know? Frank Mir is hard. I got caught a couple of times. So with me having that, that mindset from Brother Nazim, the training was intense, training was real. You know, um, yeah, Frank Merritt is his first boxing match, but still, he's a man trying to beat me, and I can't let that happen. Uh, how do you assess your performance in the fight? You seem to be picking shots well, but in singles for the most part, and then the combinations came later on to the fight. Uh, what do you think Frank did well to kind of stop you from, uh, you know, putting more of a dent in him? I mean, um, he had this, like, you know, he would rush in with his punches. Um, so, you know, I would try to catch him coming in. I did a few times. And he slowed him down a bit, hit his body a bit more. But what Frank, you know, tying me up, you know, tying me up is like and eating up some of the clock. Like, hey, woo, bro. <laughs> you know, and I mean, what else could he do? You know, um, I'm ready for the world, you know. In comparison, you've got this win. In comparison to the rest of the career, of, of your career, sorry, where would you rate this win? I mean, this was a good win for me because I had three years off. You know, this is my first fight in three years, you know. And, and, and to tell you guys the truth, I got bronchitis. <laughs> That's why I'm coughing. I was at the doctor's the other day, man, getting getting medicine. You know, I, I have bronchitis. So, um, but I'm like, I'm still gonna fight. <clears throat> got my family here. I push. I'm a warrior. I'm a champion. You know, and um, where I rank it, I mean, it's a good fight. It was it was good. You know, what I mean, it was good to get back in there and see me go to action. But I mean, really, let's keep it real. Frank Mir's not a boxer. You know, he's an MMA guy, and um. But he did his best, you know. So I, I can't rank this high, but the the stage is a big one, you know. This thriller stage is awesome. And do you feel that pressure when it comes to in these sort of fights? It's it's the perceived as the boxer versus MMA fighter, and if the boxer loses, then mm -hmm. they're going to get a lot of ridicule. Too. So do you bear that pressure on you, and, and you relieved in a sense to have got through with the win? Heck yeah, man! Shoot, who wants to be that guy? <laughs> who wants to be that two time world champion? Who? who Tyson Fury says is his hardest fight, amateur or pro, that loses to an MMA guy in his first fight. Nah, man, I felt that pressure the whole time. And um, I just, I'm not gonna let that happen. Ah, I'd rather jump out the ring before, before they say that decision. Oh, hell, I'm out of here. I don't wanna hear it. <coughs> and next I have Hans with Boxing Insider. Hey, Steve, how you doing? Hope my, um, hope my background doesn't sound too loud, does it? Nah, you good. All right, cool, cool. So um, I know when I was talking to you, um, alluded to it, you were just like, you know, there's no way in hell you're about to lose to an MMA guy or anything like that. Um, but how do you feel about the performance? Um, just in terms of, do you feel that you made the the boxing community proud? I know you were talking about boxing was on your back for tonight. So, do you feel like you made them proud? I think so. I mean, yeah. My my thing was my plan was it wasn't to come out here and blow them out the water and kill them. You know, I I have compassion. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um. I just, I wanted to, I wanted to do what we did, you know, hit his body, test his body, slow him down, cause he's big. Um, yeah, catch him with some clean shots coming in. Cause we knew after a while, he was just gonna have to jump in and uh, just work the jab a little bit and just have fun. You know, this is a huge stage. I want the world to see me again, you know? So I, I didn't mind going around. It wasn't about stopping Frank Mir, you know what I mean? I know people wanted me to kill him, but no, it wasn't about stopping him. It was just about me, you know, uh, picking my shots and just having fun. Steve, thank you and congratulations. All right, thank you guys. We gone, baby.